The universal design for learning principle for multiple means of action and expression is all about how learners demonstrate what they learn. In this short video, we will cover options for means of expression, technology and media tools for student construction, composition, and communication, and student support and assistive technologies. Students do not learn the same, so their knowledge should not be assessed in the same way either. Instead of having students take a test or write an essay, give them options. Assess their learning by having them complete case studies, role play exercises, experiments, group projects, oral presentations, or model building. Really, anything beyond the status quo. Before you start offering these alternatives, there are some things you can provide to ensure student success in completing their assessments. This may include word processing software, recording devices and software, graph paper, sketch pads, and calculators, sentence starters or strips, story maps, outlining, concept, storyboarding, and mind mapping tools, virtual and physical manipulatives, and numerous web applications for images, videos, wikis, online discussions, and presentation design. As technology advances, students must learn how to choose and adapt the best medium of expression. Look beyond the text. Media and student communication tools include speech, comics, graphics, infographics, video, music, dance and movement, visual arts, and three-dimensional art. You can also promote the use of social media and interactive web applications like online discussion forums, chats, web design, annotation tools, and animated presentations. Aim to encourage students to strengthen their ability to solve their problems and complete tasks using a variety of strategies. So what if you have students who are physically unable to navigate some of these tools? Well, students with disabilities will need additional support. The goal is that we still want to challenge them and encourage them to learn how to use these tools. All students can be supported if there are alternatives for the timing and range of actions needed for students' interaction with learning materials and technologies, and alternatives for students' physical interaction with learning materials, whether by touch, speech, a button, a controller, keyboard, or adaptive keyboard. Examples of assistive technologies used in classrooms include text-to-speech tools, listening systems, low-tech handouts, sip-and-puff systems, proofreading software, and assistive math tools. With the principle for multiple means of action and expression, you can transform the student learning experience into one that is both dynamic and meaningful. You can start by incorporating more options for student action and expression into your lesson planning. There are a variety of technology and media tools to make this all possible. You and your students have all the support you need. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, visit udlguidelines.cast.org.